Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. Unfortunately, in the last episode, we had a delirium, um, a delirium run, a Samson, Tainted Samson run, that got cut off very abruptly by two things. One of them was a bugged synergy interaction between Dr. Fetus, Mum's Knife, and Chocolate Milk. There is a mod that adds synergies to Mum's Knife. Um, and the adds one with Dr. Fetus that makes it place bombs at the end of your, wherever your knife travels, which is pretty cool. But adding chocolate milk in spawned an extra bomb that was, like, bugged and kept, like, getting blasted by the other bombs and it caused all sorts of issues. And then, um, we had the Bob's Heart, which I got forced to pick up because it spawned in a doorway, which killed me. Um, and then I tried to rewind the run so that I could keep on playing it and the game crashed. Anyways, let's continue on. Oh, punished. Nice. Okay. It says that our streak is still alive. I don't know if that's true. But yeah, punished. We haven't played punished in quite some time. Punished is a very tricky character. Um, that is a lot of fun, but kind of spicy. But we'll, uh, we'll just jump in and see what we can do with them. Uh, see what we can get. I think there is unlocks for this character. So let's just take a look at what we've, um, what we've got done completion mark wise. And we'll hopefully have a good old run. As for the question of the day, it is a haunted run, so why not ask, do you believe in ghosts, and if you do, why? If you had an experience, or you're just a spiritual person in a way. Personally, I don't. I, I, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I'm a skeptic for a lot of things. Uh, we can do light path here. Um, so, I gotta remember to use liberation, I always forget to use it. Um, essentially, liberation, we can turn things into ghost bombs, and I think there's a chance to turn things into birthright as well. Um, but yeah, this character is really interesting. It's a character that you can play with one hand entirely. There's no shooting whatsoever. It's all based around this, and it does have synergies too, um, and stats that increase and do things. It's, it's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I, I'd say I'm a skeptic in most things. I don't really believe in, like, alien... Like, I, I believe that aliens exist in terms of there's other life forms in our universe. I don't believe aliens have ever been to, to Earth. Um, I'll be honest, I think people can have their own beliefs, but I believe that if you think they have, you might be a little wacky. Um, you might be, a, especially if you believe you've, like, maybe people believing that they've been to Earth is like, it's, it's a bit wacky, but whatever. People that believe that they've seen them or, um, experienced them, mm, I'm not sure that you're, uh, you're so mentally stable there, friend. <laughs> but anyhow, um, let's try let's try not to judge. But people that have seen ghosts, I don't judge as harshly because I feel like even though I don't personally believe in them, I can definitely see circumstances in which like people can see things like that based on I don't know. Oh, this is a real horrible room right here. Mainly because one of my cracks has spawned somewhere inaccessible. Um I suppose it's not inaccessible because I can use liberation to get flight. Um, so that's not exactly true. I need to use Liberation more often. The only reason I don't like using Liberation is it has like a slow animation when you use it. Good. good. Things are going to start out slow until we get some tears up going. Because tears up increase the amount of cracks we can get per room. After that, so... Let's be careful here. I still keep forgetting to get the mod that highlights the cracks in the ground. It's such a useful mod for this character. I always forget to grab it. Um, but yeah, like, I can see that, like, certain personal experiences or, like, where you are in life can influence how you perceive things. And it can, like, make people think that they've seen ghosts. And if people want to believe that it was actually a ghost, then that's more power to them, I guess. It's not something I personally believe in. But like I said, I'm generally just a skeptic about a lot of things. I'm not religious or anything like that. I don't... I don't particularly judge people that are. I, like, I'll only judge religious people if they try to push it on people. At that point, I, I really hate it, and that's, like, a gripe I have. But a lot of people aren't like that, and a lot of people that I know aren't like that. Like, I know a few religious people have a few religious friends, but a lot of them, like, very accepting of science and, and like, how the how science believes the universe was made and stuff and all that sort of stuff. And they're not pushy with their religion, so it doesn't bother me. Eden's Head, use a random throwable active item on use. Seems actually pretty darn good for us. Is a, this red candle a throwable? I guess. I guess it is. Right, so we can use this here. Yeah, the one thing I don't like about using this is, like, it just 
it takes a while to get going because that whole slow-mo bit it does. But it's a very useful thing to use, so... Glass cannon is kind of a scary one. Although glass cannon is not so bad because it doesn't... Um, it doesn't have the chance to hurt us and explode like it normally would, I don't think. Curse pennies can drop higher replacement chance. Uh, yeah, whatever, we'll take it. That was pretty useless for us. Of course, we've got two bosses here. Pop this. This boss is going to be kind of annoying. I'm really hoping we get a tears up here. Yeah, just because this guy's going to, like, cover the room in fire. Which means our, uh, our cracks could appear underneath fire on occasion. We also could really do with a speed up, too. Speed up would be very, very nice. Unfortunately, this guy creates minions, too. Which is problematic because uh, our... Ghosties are going to aim for the minions. Yeah, like, another thing as well is, I'm not, I don't want to get into a whole debate about, about religion, because, to be honest, most of the bad behavior in religion is just caught by a few bad eggs. But what, one thing that always it always gets me is, like, when, when like, people that are religious, um, sort of, okay, speed is really nice here. When people that are religious, like, sort of, oh, we got another item room to go to, I forgot about that. We'll, we'll be like, oh, how do you live a moral life without religion to guide you? It's like, I don't need, like, a, a per, like, a god or a book to tell me how to not murder people and treat them with kindness. <laughs> That's always one of my favorite, like, arguments that they whip out is like, oh, how how are you going to live a moral life if you don't have religion to guide you? It's like, are you telling me that you just go out murdering people and, like, being the worst humans ever if you didn't have that? And the thing is, as well, so many of those people are the worst humans ever anyways. Like, those are, like, the Karens of the world. Oh, God, off-screen indicator telling us where our cracks are is, uh, is particularly lovely here. I'm liking that a lot. I'm liking that a lot. We all good? We all good. Good, 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 good. It took a while doing. It took a bit of getting through, but there you go. I'm liking our um, our active so far as well. This is a, a pretty quirky, fun one. Oh, I don't don't like grappling an enemy to me, I, I've got to say. Not something I would have hoped to have done. Second item room, please be something amazing. Vault of Havoc. Ooh, Vault of Havoc is kind of spicy. It's annoying because it's another active. Passively stores killed enemies can be used as soon as 12 enemies are stored. Upon use brings you to a special room with the 12 most recently killed enemies. Clearing the room will spawn rewards based on total HP of spawned enemies. I think it's worth taking, even though I really like that other active. This, it's chaotic and has the potential to reward us heavily. It also has the potential to easily, and I mean easily, get us killed. <laughs> but we take risks here. We do, we do. Um, maybe we should look for secret room briefly to try and get a little bit more power out of this. I'll also take this pill. Why? Why? I just need tears up so bad. Uh, one thing that I need to check, actually, that I didn't, I, I didn't think about a moment ago. Can I use my liberation on the... Um, item that I left in here to turn it into ghost bombs. I think I can, right? I can. Okay, nice. Okay, that was useful. Although ghost bombs didn't give me any bombs? Does ghost bombs not reward you with bombs? Anyhow. Nice. We got some ghost bombs going. We can actually use some bombs during the boss fight if we want to. Depending on how things go. Stingle dangle. You sat on the other crack you are. Could you like move please? No, you're not. Where the hell's that other crack? Oh, it's all the way up here, I see. Yeah. I don't think that tears down actually did anything to hinder us. Bugger hell. Okay, no, it's alright. I, I negated that hit with Liberation there. I don't know. It's, it seems to be spawning the cracks a lot slower now, actually. I think I might be wrong. 
I think it is actually terrible for us. Seems to be spawning the cracks awful slow. Bit of a slow boss fight, but we got there in the end. Tears up. I don't think short speed does anything for us, but I have to take a tears up. Even if it is only a small one. And we keep her going. Ooh, spicy one here. Spicy one. I, th I gotta say, it's one of those things being a skeptic, where it's like... I, I don't know. I, I, I like being a skeptic, because I feel like I'm more sort of grounded in reality. But at the same time, it's like... It's less fun. <laughs> Partially, at least. Some things seem seem like they're more fun as a as a believer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think our tears up, our tears down, did fuck us over because they see the cracks are spawning way slower than normal. Also, look at that ghost just spinning around him. Could you not, please? Well, this feels bad. <laughs> like, we are going to be playing this hella slow for a little while here. Oh, also, our, um... Our light arrow item seems to be benefiting some... Oh, like, sorry, our, our ghost seems to be benefiting somewhat from our light arrow. Oh, dude, these enemies are going to be an absolute nightmare to kill. Like, what the fuck am I meant to do against these enemies? Like, actually, what the fuck am I meant to do? This is just, this is just gonna take me forever. Okay, you, you're dead at least. But you, you're gonna be a nightmare. Okay, I got you, in the end. Yeah, it like leaves a tear behind now when I hit the enemy. Which I don't know if that's dealing more damage for us. It seems like it might be. Oh, dude, don't go for the enemy that's stuck inside the wall. Come on now. Be reasonable. Right, let's try out this active. Okay, this was a very, very, very poor idea by me. Based on the enemies that I've got locked in right now, this was not a good idea. There's also not a particularly good room for this either. Okay, boulders will randomly fall into enemies. Ancient fragments will have a 25% chance to replace other consumables. Buff boulders while nerfing your character. Okie dokie. Well, that was actually a pretty good item to grab. I, I, I gotta say, that was a pretty good item to grab. Still though, that that is gonna be scary as hell. We really need some tears up, like real bad. This is just going to be a slow old run. Why Why does the sound effect for the falling rocks sound so fake? <laughs> oh, that was a very bad hit by me there. It sounds like a... A 64-bit sound, right? It sounds like it's from, like, Doom Original. <laughs> That's so strange. I wonder why they used that sound effect. See, that was a pretty interesting item overall. Yeah, oh God, I, I really don't like that boulder sound. That's really kind of horrible. It does seem to be aiming for enemies, though, the boulders. I didn't think it well, I thought it'd be kind of random. 
Good, good. My god, that T is down. It hurts so bad. This is not good. A lot of creep on the floor there. This T is down is so punishing. It seems to actually like directly land on them. It follows them and everything. So I think if we can buff this up a lot, like keep taking a bunch of uh of those ancient fragments, we could actually get this to be a really good item. Build our entire run around it. Because it's a very AFK style thing, right? Uh, damage up, picking up a red heart is a 50% chance to heal for a bonus half red heart. I mean, I'm fairly sure that we don't... Um, can, we, can we even get red hearts as this guy? I don't think so, right? It does give us damage up though, so I'll take it anyways. Oh, that was more, more damage than I expected. Right, again, this was a terrible idea, but I just thought, go for it. Why the hell not? I do not like the poison dudes, because I I have to wait for liberation until I've got flight to basically do anything here. There you go. Wait, there's just a kill button? What the heck? Is that intentional? I, sh I should not have taken that. I should have changed it over to another item. Is that intentional? It's just a kill switch? My god. This is a, a bit of a sad run here, isn't it? I'm taking a lot of stupid damage. Maybe there's different room varieties and I'm just getting lucky and I got the same one twice. Oh, dude. The fuck am I meant to do here? At least it gives you more cracks in bigger rooms, but god damn, I need even more than this. I need even more. This is slow going right now. Please be a tears up. So range down, I don't think range does anything for us anyways, but still. Soul heart, please. Nope. Take night light. Oh good, a cube of meat. That's really gonna help. That's really gonna help. Okay, we just got to power through. We just got to power through. This is going to be a bit of a slow run to start with, at least, until we get some hopefully good items. But eventually we'll get there. Eventually we'll get there. This character is a bit of a challenge character. Especially if you get if you don't get tears up and you get tears down. And so far, based on this boss, we're not going to get any good tears up here, are we, of course? At the minute, our rocks aren't even killing flies, so they're not very useful right now. Did get an angel deal, though. Uh, I guess I'll turn that into a ghost bomb. Chimera. Chimera is incredible. I'm gonna go do this extra room so I can do another Havoc Vault. Chimera could save us. It could save us. It's, it's a really good way of getting stats. This guy is homing down there, so let's stay the hell away from him. Yeah, rocks actually killed that guy. Okay, so yeah, we I think we were just getting lucky before. Still, this room isn't so bad. We got a fragment here as well, which is nice. Please don't be a tears down. For fuck's sake, it was a tears down. Of all the fucking ugh, of all the stats it could be, why?
meat, more damage, more HP. Oh, we can have red HP. Okay, so that item we took is actually okay. But yeah, we've buffed up our rocks a little bit now. I don't know how many uh, fragments it's going to take before our rocks become good. Right now, they're pretty mediocre. I don't know if that's going to work with our thingy, but I'm going to try it out anyways. Right. Let's get to going, shall we? This has been a slightly tragic state of affairs, I'll be honest. Secret room here, maybe? More speed down. I don't know how much it adds per fragment. Like I said, it might, might be like 10 fragments before we get to the point where they're any good at all. But either way, we'll keep using them regardless. We'll play into it. Come on, you tears up. Somehow, somewhere, we need you to find me. But at least we got some good damage now, so our ghosts are actually going to hit pretty hard. Oh, you herming little fucker. You herming little shyster. Oh my god. I really think this guy should just start with a base of a lot... I mean a lot higher. Like, like pro probably double the tiers that he has now. His base tiers are real bad. And if you don't get a tiers up, like, on your first few floors, this guy can just be, like, super, super, super difficult. I mean, at least the ghosts can do good damage, but they take time. Like, it's, it's not instant. And, like, rooms like this, oh my god, they're just so problematic. Oh my god, dude. This is a horrible, horrible, horrible room here. What the fuck am I... I have just got to wait for liberation, I guess. There you go, so I can actually fly and get over there. I mean, one of the things spawned over a gap. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Slow run. It do be. Havoc Vault once again. Um, I pressed Q and it took a heart away from me? I didn't mean to press Q. Does Liberation take a heart from... I'm confused. This... This right here is probably one of the worst rooms we could see. Good thing is enemies group up and this, these do AoE so we get that at least. I don't even know where my goddamn things are. Dude, you just... You just put... Like, you just sat right on top of the only... Like, dude. You just sat on it. You just sat on it. I need that. Fucking go away. This is tragic. This is tragic. This character needs buffs, people. This character needs buffs so badly. He's so trash right now. <laughs> I don't have flight anymore either. What am I meant to do? Number two is fucking amazing for us. Holy shit, number two is so goddamn good. We have a way of dealing damage now. Oh, it's a ghost bomb number two as well. Okay, this, this is our saving grace. This right here is our saving grace. If we can if we can manage to stay alive now, we are in the money. This has absolutely redeemed all. The fact that it inherits our bomb synergies is a miracle.
Now we can walk around and just plant bombs like crazy. My goodness. We're going to need a lot more HP as well if we're going to continue on this run. I should be careful not to bomb myself, obviously. That's reasonably easy to avoid. I'm not going to use my Havoc yet because uh, I think I need more HP before I do it again in case I get a really bad room. And the good thing is as well, it gives us more leeway because it stuns everything. Um, what we got here? Okay, well, we'll use this to uh, do an upgrade. It's going to be scary because we're going to have to, like, go and fight a little mini boss here, which I'm not particularly happy about. We also have infinite bombs now, which is rather nice. Oh, Toxic Shock. Okay. Toxic Shock is another really fucking good one for us here. Now, this guy is probably going to hit me at least once because I don't remember how he works. Basically, we're just praying that we can kill him quickly. There you go. We got him. Toxic Shock is goddamn incredible for us. Like, absolutely over the moon with that. Come on, I need a soul heart really bad there. Yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon with Toxic Shock. Because basically the wombo combo of Toxic Shock plus, um, a, plus a, a thingy bomb, a butt bomb, could actually kill some rooms instantly. And it scales over our damage too. It's some, it's some really good combinations of stuff we got here. Still, my health scares me. Look at that, room dead. All space, nice. Wasn't expecting that. Midas touch. I think we uh, liberate. Does liberation hurt us when we use it? It doesn't. It does the hurt noise, but it doesn't actually hurt us. Don't know what this item does, so I don't know how worth it this is. Um, I think if I do this and then like go over here, yeah. Gravity, um, gra uh, grants flight and flips the player's sprite. It has not flipped my sprite, but it grants me flight, so I don't care. Oh, you fucker. I stood way too close to that. Oh, I just bought Midas Touch. Did not mean to do that. Honestly, with the confusion, plus the bomb, plus toxic shock, plus the rocks, we've actually got a really good run here. we just got to actually stay alive now, because at the minute, things aren't looking too hot on that front. Okay. That's, that's just beautiful. It's just so nice. The boss is going to be a challenge. That was close to dying there. I didn't realize what champion that was. Okay, boss is going to be a challenge, especially if it can one-hit me. Luckily, Liberation will save me once I get it going. There you go. Liberation gives me one free hit pair of rooms. So we get that saving grace at least. Ah, 
Okay. Squeezy is lovely. It's finally a tears up. And it's two soul hearts. My goodness. That is very nice. Okay, let's use this. Now we have flight, we can at least just sit over the rocks. Try to make sure not to bomb all the rocks out of existence. Okay, just sit back and let the world end itself. Wait, does this work with this too? If this works with this too, this is going to be amazing. Oh my god, we've got we've got we've got a run going here, people. This is not what this run was ever intended to be. But it has become something so so beautiful. <laughs> Such a weird run, but goddamn. Such a strange run, but we it's slow it's a slow play. I just love the Sisyphus plus Toxic Shock plus the bomb stuff we've got going on. Okay, now our sprite is sprite is somewhat flipped. It's still a bit buggy. But our poot is going to do business for us as well. We can create many of them as well. Upgrade our rocks a little bit as well. Hell yes. Barely even need to go for the cracks in the ground now. Just got our own thing going on. Secret room. Didn't expect that, but I'm very happy. Accidentally mad as touch to that guy as well. Very nice. Oh god, our rocks seem to be falling a lot more rapidly now. The vault is ready. Dude, I don't know what's going on right now, but I'm so happy. <laughs> so many bomb upgrades, and that was a HP up as well. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> so many bomb upgrades. Toxic Shock weakens them up, and then we do the rest. This is so nice. I love this. Oh, another fragment. Awesome. Also, Chimera is going to balance out the stat reductions we get from this. Uh, what the fuck just hit me? I have no idea. Booster pack. Thank you. I probably should have actually turned that into stats, but could be good. That's pretty nice. Moon, we've already been there. Two batteries is what it is. Sun. I guess I'll I'll just use the sun and I'll bring this with me. Probably should have just black ruined that to be honest. Boom, baby. It's all over now, fellas. It's all over now. Doubles the number of held bombs, and uh, no thank you. I'm sure they fucking get rid of all this crap, because it's all in the way and it's annoying me. Honestly, as well, like, remove this. Grab that. Remove that golden chest carcass, whatever you want to call it. Oh, there you go, it paid out. Nice, good stuff. Right. They're sending to such a wacky run. Dude, again? Really? Again? Oh, 
I also didn't realize that the Havoc Vault would always give us items. I don't know if we're just getting lucky, but yeah, it's been giving us so many items. So this is the room that just has the kill switch. Yep, yeah, I'll take him. Yeah, I'm a bit confused by one room, the fact that one room has a kill switch. I mean, I know it's hidden, but still, it's like once you know about it, it's like game over. care of my boy. Item room, item room, what do you hold for me? Also, yeah, now we've got this little, little dude sticking his tail up and killing enemies for us as well. Um... I think this is good. Nah, I, I, let's just take the stats. Ah, not great, unfortunately. Because it's good, but it's not amazing, and I'm never going to be low enough on keys to make it really work. This boss is really annoying, but luckily we have flight. That makes him a lot less annoying. Pop this. Still don't have enough tears up to get three, um, three cracks. Not that we're using the cracks really all that much anymore anyways. It doesn't really matter. God damn, this fat fucking thing on this boss is so annoying. Beautiful. Latch key. Yeah. To soul heart. Keys out super necessary. This one again. This time it did not give me an item, so I must have just been getting lucky before. Right, down we go. Yeah, we've just been getting really lucky. All right, let's keep it moving. Beautiful. One sec. I'm back, let's keep this trainer moving. This is a very long run so far, but hey, I'm having a lot of fun with it, to be honest. It's, it started off, this is kind of the, the deal with this character. It always starts off really jank, and it gets kind of crazy. I mean, it's weird that, like, our main synergy here is number two. But then again, I suppose it's been sort of enabled by the fact that we have a, a way of getting ghost bombs guaranteed. So it's not entirely just number two, but it has been heavily facilitated by that, which I very much like. All the blood everywhere as well, it's great. What the hell keeps randomly hitting me? What the, what was that? Right, get these going. Havoc's ready. Good, good. The thing is as well, this gets harder and harder the more we do it, because it's the, the type of enemies are based on the enemies we killed. But I think as long as there's, uh, there's another one with a kill switch here. Don't need to use it though. I think as long as there's, um, there's rocks to fly over, we're pretty much good to go. Unfortunately, yeah, we have not got any more items, but we, we, just, we, we must have just got really lucky with our items. What do we need to kill before? Okay, this is an annoying room. It's actually not going to be so bad for us to kill everything, though. But we might as well press the kill switch if we can. Nice. We, it could, what, what, two things we could use right now is more tears up, but more damage up would be real good. Let's 
dead again. Item room. I mean, it's Ipecac. It's a tears down, but it's Ipecac. That, that is more damage. I don't know how this works with this character. I'm sure he has a specific synergy. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. I think we just broke the game. Oh, nice. I'll take that. I think we just broke the game. Um, Toxic Shock plus uh, Ipecac, I'm pretty sure, is um, kind of incredible. I think everything's just going to die in Mushrooms. Lovely. Surly and Napoleon. Yeah, things are strong now. Things are strong. I need to see if there's like a specific synergy with this. Like, am I... Am I Purgatory Ghost going to do explosions now? Because now I've got really bad fire rates. I've got a I get a lot less Ghosts. I'm guessing they just do mad damage now. Unfortunately, the red means I cannot see where my crack is at all. Which is not a sentence I thought I'd be saying in Isaac. But there you go. And what haven't we done? We haven't done Light Path. Damage up. Yes, please. It's not necessary at all, but I want it. It was actually, it was actually completely pointless. It was like the most mid-G damage up ever. But damage up is damage up. I can't say no. I do like a massive fart when I do my number two now as well. I don't know if that was always a thing, but... Yeah, so Toxic Shock's initial, like, damage burst is really high now. Um, I've got a bit of an idea. I've got a bit of an idea. So, I'll take this item. I'm just going to quickly, like, hold off. I'm going to, basically, I'm going to clear this entire floor. I've got a bit of an idea. Well, let's see this new thing do damage. Oh yeah, that just does a ton of damage now. It doesn't do any special explosion or anything, it just does a lot of damage. Oh, that gave us a ton of stats as well. Right. Don't drop things right in front of the doorway, you gim. Can I blow you up? You're annoying it in the way. Skull X boy doing his thing. We can use this again. Again, we got the easy room. We got wooden spoon. Um, yeah, it's definitely it's, it's worth the speed up. I think speed is really important for us. I should probably open that uh, glass chest as well, because why not? That's what I'm looking for, baby. Things are a bit slower with Ipecac now, but we're able to hit a lot harder, so it's not it's not all bad. I'm so glad I took Vault of Havoc. It's been a lot of fun. Look at that. So many of them just died. Any any low health enemy just dies instantly because of our high damage. I'm pretty sure Toxic Shock does have a cap. I don't think Ipecac 40 damage applies. But it's like, it still does a lot.
Oh, there was an ancient fragment in there. Fuck. Uh, my bad. My bad. That drink is honestly being pointless for us, I'm pretty sure, so I'm not even going to bother picking it up. Oh, big chunky damage. Extra soul heart. Extra stuff there. You jumped right into the bomb, you goose. What do you think that was going to achieve for you there, my guy? There's another one. You can't already tell what I'm doing. Hopefully it's going to be pretty clear. So basically, I'm just going to Yera rune all of the ancient fragments. It's going to give me a pretty hefty stat down, but it should make our rocks like real strong, which I'm, I'm hoping is like crazy. I'm hoping that it like gets really, really strong. I'm loving having this extra speed here. Lump of coal, I don't know if that'll do anything for us, but obviously we'll take it. <laughs> Trying to just get them to land on the creep there. Another one. Managed to gather quite a few here, quite a few. I don't know how, like I said, I don't know how many sort of you get pair. Damage and, it increases the damage and the proc rate. Okay, that, I was right about them falling more often. If you can get one more, that would be insane. Got one more potential room, I think. Walk into my bomb. Another room here. Oh, quite a few extra rooms apparently. Wasn't expecting that. Ah, oh, come on, fragments. Is it is that a 25% chance to replace consumables, didn't it? Or was it to replace cards? We're ready to go once again. God damn, this room's so easy now. With Toxic Shock, we kill so many of the small and basic enemies. Pretty good. Actually, that's really good. Sadly, no fragment. Don't really know what I'm doing here. Sadly, no more fragment, but we did get four, I think, so that's eight. Which I think should be pretty darn good. We've, we've taken, like, what, like, four of them so far, so this will be, like, a lot more than we had previously. Obviously, our stats are going to get tanked a little bit here. I've never actually like played into Sisyphus this much, so I'm hoping it'll be really, really good. Cool. We have 20, see this is what I mean with Chimera. We have 21 luck. Oh God, yeah. Those are some big boy boulders. The boulders not fall on bosses? Maybe not. Okay, I, th I don't think boulders fall on bosses, which is weird.
Damaging an enemy will send out tears that home in onto them. Okay. I don't actually know if this will work, but I'm going to take it anyways because I like the item. And we're going to head on to the next floor. Yeah, I don't know if, if it has to be a tear that hits them to, to do it. I don't think it does. But this is this is fun. This is a really wacky, really fun run. Oh my god. Okay. I I definitely made the right choice with the boulder, because there is just it just absolutely rains on them now. And it does a pretty good amount of damage. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't look like Wrath is doing anything. Which is a shame. But understandable. Like nothing that's hitting them is causing wrath shots. Another you know, tears up, I don't think the tears up will matter all that much. There's another one. Just die. <gasps> Yes, that's so goddamn good. Especially when we've got broken hearts like this. Ignore three hits a floor. Does not count on this floor, though. Does not count on this floor. Only subsequent floors. Look at that. Toxic shock. Oh, this is, this is like one of the most interesting runs I've had in a while. And look at how it started. Such a humble beginning. I've been an absolutely trash run. Oh my god. Oh no, it works this it works on this floor now. They must have fixed that. Never used to work on the uh, floor that you picked up the item on. It's a lot of brimstony boys. Ah, oh, we haven't had an item in ages now. I mean we we've had items from the chests, but you know what I mean. Oh my, I just, I love the wombo combos we've got going on. It's like, Toxic Shock is first up to bat. Toxic Shock does its damage. Second up to bat, we've got, um, we've got the, the rocks falling on them. Third up to bat, we've got the uh, AoE from the bomb. And then fourth up is our actual damage that we get from the ghosts we create. And then the ghost bomb ghosts as well. It's just like, there's just like so many layers to the damage that we deal. I love it. It's really entertaining. Where the fuck are we going? I don't got damn uh... Should try and get a few soul hearts out of this. Ooh, or a fragment. I like a fragment. Remember when I was going to go for Hush? Oh, it was... No, that might have been in my Samson run, actually. Come on, machine. What are you playing at? Hey, another fragment. It must be replacing only cards. I can't be asked for you anymore. Awesome. Right, where the hell are we going? Still, this isn't the right way. What the fuck? I'm so confused at where we're meant to be heading here. Nope, not here. Just fired another bomb into that room. What the fuck? This way, maybe? Okay, this way. The vault.
Hey, there you go. Oh, we got a miser heart there as well. Beautiful. You're all taken care of. The rocks are coming for you. I like the way that we've got 12 enemies killed already. Ooh, beautiful. What a what a room to insta-kill. God damn, is this like an XL floor? This, this is taking forever. Oh, we got a lot of death skulls as our enemies here. Friend zone. Why not? Oh, come on. Just let me escape this per permanent hell. Sacred Womb 2 never ends. Okay, here we go, finally. Okay, I'm pretty sure our pooters are doing 48 damage a shot as well. That's another thing that's pretty awesome. Your pooters do your damage. I'm pretty sure that they don't ignore the Ipecac damage, so they, they are doing Ipecac damage. I think. I'm not entirely sure on that. That's just a theory. A game theory. I forget how fucking annoying having Nightlight is on this fight. Right. We are good to go. Darn tootin. Right. We are going up, up, up and away. What a fucking mental run this has been. This is this is why I still love playing Isaac. I can still get entertained by it, because I I this this is this is a run that I couldn't have conceived in my head. When when I started playing the punished, I couldn't have conceived of this run happening. And it did. It became existed, and it's just crazy that can happen. And like, so many rooms were just walking in with so much damage that we just insta-kill them. Oh, is that gonna blow up a secret room? Nah, sadly not. I'm just loving Havoc Vault as well. Okay, Monstrous Lung I don't think we're gonna take. I, I just can't fathom a way in which that would be helpful to us. That's just gonna be a tears down, I'm pretty sure. Another Miser Heart. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a tears down for us, as much as I do want to take it. I'd love the item, but without being able to fire, I can't see what Monstrous Lung would do to health. What's this music? Oh, it's you, hello. Y'all ready to die? Ooh, a secret room as well. Very nice. Ah, for God's sake. You still hit me though, didn't you? You gave me that soul heart back at least. Oh wait, no you didn't because you didn't actually hit me. You pseudo hit me. Okay. Bit of a weird room. I don't need your money. Just keep the poops a-going. Keep the poops a-rolling. Oh, I'm actually poop the moment I walk into this room. Nice. Oh, the spikes all around. I just walked right into those. What's left? Oh, there's a spider. Okay. Oh, everything's dead. Um, 
and so are you. Even my little worm tail dude is killing stuff. Oh, come on now, really? Broom's not even got... Not even the right way. This is such a far, like, a long route out of the way to be wrong, like, the wrong way. God damn it. I love it when you, like, time the, the, the number two bomb perfectly to, like, enter a room and fire it straight away. It's so satisfying. Wow. This was a hard one. That was a real struggle. Right, we should poop pretty much straight away in here as well. In here, it's beautiful. It's just perfectly timed poops. Alright, we'll use this here for the free hit. And the faster spawning cracks. Not that we need them. Alright, so the rocks can hit bosses. I don't know why it wasn't hitting Mr. Fred. Laying out as many pooters as we can get here. Unfortunately, you have a range at which they can shoot from, as you can see now. And you are getting affected by my red creep, so that's definitely lowering our D DPS here. Beautiful. Hey, we unlocked an item. Lovely. We should have tried to do Mega Satan here. I know I've been taking Devil Deals, so it's not super useful to, to do that, but... Not super possible, should I say. Um, This could be good. Whiz Shot, I just don't see how it's, a down, how it's got a downside. Pet Rock is funny, and no thank you. I'm still sticking with what I've got going on here. Although, getting enemies to kill to put in the Vault of Havoc here is going to be difficult because most of the enemies he on this floor are obviously bosses. We do have insane luck, so we should be getting a lot of chests here. On 8 already. We're already on 12. Maybe I lied. easier than I expected. I love the fact that my rocks just fall on any enemy, even if they're off screen for us. Oh, these counters. Oh my god, this is amazing. I didn't think they'd count, but they do. What the fuck's going on with this room? This is a very strange room. Why is there a donation machine back there? Just so they can blow it up? I'm, guess I'm guessing that's the reason, right? Right, this floor also goes absolutely crazy with uh, Chimera as well. There's so many bosses to kill and they all give permanent stat upgrades. Like we just got two luck upgrade from killing that one boss. And another two luck upgrade. Oh wow, that's 12 already. Oh god, we're being drugged. It's okay, we can get through it. We can get through a drugging. The Th thing is as well, not even using my actual bombs on the on the uh, blue baby fight. I'll use my actual bombs as well. Magic mush, hell yes. A lot more damage. Plus damage, plus shot speed. Well, that was a fucking easy one. A ton of the enemies just left because there was no poop. And the mushrooms don't actually even fight you. Black hole, no thanks. 
yeah, I think that uh, the the Havoc Vault is extremely good, especially in a setup like this where we're doing a we're doing like a ton of AOE damage. That makes the rooms really easy. Holy poop. Holy poop. Nice, nice. I'm gonna leave Bob's brain there for now, I think. Tries to put, place the bombs directly on that, that kidney, thinks. I hate it. Mongo, baby! So many friends. So many friends. Lead pencil doesn't actually do anything for us, I don't think, but I'll take it regardless. Morbid heart on you, so I don't really need it. Damn it, give us items or uh, chests. I can't believe how many items we got, like, off the bat, like we got like four in a row, didn't we? Three or four in a row, and then we haven't ha we haven't had an item since. Like me a little heretic, thank you. Got to be close to the boss now. Another chest there. Oh my lord, what's going on with this room? Little monster. Gideon's Gears. Lots of good stuff. Plasma. Scales with luck, you say? Just hearts. Right. It's time. Use actual bombs as well here. Just get as many pooters around as we can. Oh, you've got butt bombs too, do you? Oh, wow. I'm sure they'll be uh, up to my standards. Look at the amount of ghosts. The ghosts and pooters, there's so many. You're going down, fella. My army will take you down. There you go. That was one of the most fun runs I've had in a while. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed, because I know I did. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.